Although these custody proceedings have always tended to favor the mother, we also realize, perhaps now more than ever, that it is not in a child's best interest to deprive him or her of an obviously loving father. However, since at the present time Mr. Hillard has no place to live and no employment, it is the court's ruling to award sole custody to Mrs. Hillard. No. Mr. Hillard will have visitation rights every Saturday. Can't you do something? He's already made his decision. Well, isn't it traditional? Say something like I object or something? Your Honor, please. I mean, every Saturday, that's one day a week. That's not enough. I have to be with my children. It's not a question, really. I mean, I have to be with them, sir, please. I know it seems like a lot, but for me, it's not enough, really. I, I haven't been away from them for more than one day since the day they were born. Mr. Hillard, I would like to add that this ruling is only temporary. Oh, good. I will assign a court liaison to oversee your case, and there will be a continuance of these proceedings in 90 days. I'm giving you three months, Mr. Hillard. Thank you. Three months in which to get a job, keep it, and create a suitable home. If this proves to be a possibility for you, I will consider a joint custody arrangement when we reconvene. We're adjourned. Well, it looks like there is a little light at the end of our tunnel, eh?